Wagab. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace your side mirror indicator. All that coming right up. Okay, so as you can see here, on this Mercedes-Benz, the side mirror indicator case has fallen off. That's just the indicator cover. But in order to replace that, I mean, you could always just try to glue it on, but you know, you may as well just replace it, seeing as it's inexpensive to replace. So we're going to replace the side mirror indicator. And in order to do that, we need to remove the mirror, pop off this side cover, and remove the side indicator from the mirror cover itself. So let's do it. The first thing we want to do is fold this all the way back. Now, you see a lot of people remove the side mirror by brute force and they just rip it right off. But you don't want to do that because you do have a chance of breaking the clips. Now, there are people that do it and they don't break the clips, but I'm going to show you another way to do it, which is the safest way. Now, inside here, you're going to see clips that clip over the mirror motor. You need a pick tool like this and you need to go inside here and pry those clips off, okay? Pull it back with a bit of pressure this way and pry it. Okay, so here I am. I'm gonna pry one. It's one second, pry it, keep pressure on it so it doesn't clip back in. All right, and then we pry the other ones. There's four that you're gonna pry from the top, and once you pry those four, this mirror is going to slide off. There we go. Now, there you go. I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here is the side mirror here. This is what we were trying to achieve. These clips here, they clip over the mirror motor. And what you need to do is apply a bit of pressure and pull them off. You want to apply pressure because if you don't apply a bit of pressure, when you go to unclip the other ones and you let go of the mirror, it's going to clip back into place. So make sure you apply a bit of pressure and then pry on these clips. There's eight all up, but you only have to remove half of it and then the mirror will just simply come off. Now we can just leave this dangling for a second. And next, we need to remove three T10 torque screws in order to undo the plastic. Okay, so we remove these three. One, two, three. Move these three, put these screws aside. There are clips inside here that you need to remove. So you need to put a flathead in here, pry that clip open, put one in here, pry this clip open, and then there's one more down here. You push down on it and it will allow it to come out. See, as you can see at the back here, there's one, two, three clips. So you need to push down on those clips so that it will allow it to come out. And then that will come out like so. All we have left is to remove your side mirror. And in order to remove it, there's two clips here. You pry them forward. You pry them like this. Just pry it. Pry that one. And then that will come out like so. So as you saw just then, what I was trying to achieve was simply by prying these two silver tabs it will allow it to lift up because it clips in through here so all you're doing is simply prying these two while lifting up and it will simply unclip okay so I'm prying this back I pry this back lift it up as you pry it back and now we lift it up and it will unclip like that all right so now in order to remove the indicator from the bezel you have to remove these two T8 torque screws as well. So we we'll remove these two. That's one. There's another one just here. Okay, so that's one. Here's a second one right here. Now with these removed, there's just simply four clips. One, two, three, four. You just have to pry two of them off and the indicator will pop off. And that's it. Your indicator pops right out. And now in order to remove the plug for your for your indicator you just have to press on the two tabs here and push it down and it will unclip and there you go now your indicator will remove now we can put on our new indicator and reassemble this entire side mirror now in order to refit it on we run our cable through like so push it in and it clips in there we go you heard that clip that just clipped in right there and here it clips over. Make sure all these tabs are clipped over. If they're not, it will fall off quite easily. 
So we'll just uh, make sure that the tab clips over. You need to make sure all four are clipped over. Now with that clipped over, we can install our light once again. So to install this, you need to make sure that it's installed this way with the cutout facing you, not the other way like this. You need to make sure it's like this. I just do it like this, where I simply push it over the top like this, and then it slides in like so. Bam, look at that, perfect. Okay, so once you replace your light, you need to put back in these two T8 torque screws, okay? Without this, your light is just going to fall back out. So make sure you put these back in. They are T8, not T10. Okay, just screw them back in nice and snug, and that's it. And now, we can reassemble the entire light. Now we will reinstall this, and uh, it's really simple now, guys. So to reinstall it, you need to make sure that Firstly, your plug lines up with this blue connector on the back here. So we'll line that up like so. Make sure the blue connector lines up. And now with it lined up, we'll make sure this clips in here and this clips down as well. And that's it. Make sure that these two silver clips clip back in as well. And now look at that, perfect. That's all there was to it. Now with the mirror cover installed, we need to install this middle piece first, then we can put in our three torque screws. So you just push that in, it will clip in in three spots. Make sure it's all clipped in. Make sure your silver tabs are still clipped in as well for the side cover. And now we'll grab our three T10 torque screws and reinstall them. It's one. Two, three, there you go. And now it's just a matter of clipping this back on and we are done. When you clip this back on, see these two silver prongs? They have to sit on the outside. Make sure they sit on the outside and then you simply just push it back on and it will clip on like so. And that's it, voila. Side mirror, fully replaced, ready to go. Let's just test it out now. Just indicate real quick. Look at that. Indicator, beautiful once again. Look at that. Sits in flush just the way it's supposed to. This is what the other side looks like. As you can see, there is a tiny little gap all the way around, but that's exactly the way it's supposed to look. I would say that is a job well done. Make sure you test the mirrors again. Make sure everything works. and that's it guys that's how easy it is to replace your side indicator for your side mirror okay and well there you have it guys how to replace the side indicator for your side mirror for your w204 from 2007 to 2008 maybe even 2009 basically these came on the earlier models of the w204 the newer models have the nice led strip that goes through the indicator you can also update these side mirrors to the newer style w204 uh, indicators as well but you need to replace the entire side mirror if that's something you're definitely interested in well then do that because you can definitely do that now whether or not you have to have it coded in order to work I'm not too sure if I was to guess I would say that it really is just going to be plug and play because the plugs are exactly the same for instance this plug on this indicator is exactly the same as the plug on the newer style indicator but it isn't just as simple as plugging in the newer style indicator because they are located in different positions. This is located a little bit lower and on the newer style LED side mirror, it's located a little bit higher, like back here. This is located down here. So in order to make that retrofit where you install the newer style indicator, you would have to replace your whole side mirror. And that brings us to the end of the video. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell not to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one.